parent or guardian's role in their child's education is hugely important. Ireland's constitution states that parents are the child's primary educators. Support from home is vital for your child's success in school. However, for some families, school avoidance and school attendance can present as a challenge. To support your child, you can show interest in what your child is doing in school, consult with the school on your child's progress, attend parent-teacher meetings, talk with the class teacher about any concerns you may have and praise your child's efforts at every opportunity. Your encouragement means a lot and will motivate your child to continue trying. If you feel school attendance or school avoidance is a challenge, it is important to talk to your class teacher, year head, principal or the homeschool community liaison coordinator who will listen to your concerns and provide you with information on the supports available to help. Let's hear from some of the supports available for parents, children and young people. The Tusla Education Support Service. TESS works with children, young people, their families and schools to support school attendance. Educational welfare offices are based throughout the country to offer advice and guidance to parents who need support in ensuring that their child attends school regularly. If a school principal is concerned about the attendance of a student, they can make a referral to the Tusla Education Support Service. Once this referral is screened and assigned to the local EWO, the EWO will contact the school principal to get a picture of what's going on and to ensure that efforts have been made by the school to help the child. They will then contact the family and meet with them. Home visits are an essential part of an EWO's work and the first meeting with an EWO very often opens up a pathway of solutions for a child and family needing support. Once problems have been identified, the EWO will work with those involved to improve the situation for the child or young person. In schools participating in the Department of Education and Skills DASH initiative, which is delivering equality of opportunity in schools, AWOs also work closely with two other school support services under the remit of TESS, namely the Home School Community Liaison Scheme and the School Completion Programme, to secure better educational outcomes for children and young people. Referrals to the service can also come from parents or other agencies. The HSCL coordinator is a teacher within your child or young person's school and works in partnership with parents, teachers and local community organisations to support positive educational outcomes for pupils. The HSCL coordinator also works closely with the other two strands of the Tusla Education Support Service. These are the Educational Welfare Officer and the School Completion Programme. And this is with a view to improving educational outcomes for children. A major part of the HSCL coordinator's role is strengthening bonds between home and school. This is done by carrying out home visits where the HSCL coordinator meets parents in their homes. Along with this, the HSCL coordinator organizes events in the school and community that encourages parental involvement in their child's education. The HSCL coordinator in your child or young person's school can be contacted by phone, text, email, or in person. SCP is a targeted programme which is available in day schools and a small number of non-day schools. This programme supports your child to attend school, to get involved in and connect with the school community and to get the most out of their education. The school completion programme supports children and young people during the school day, during school holidays, after school hours and when they are out of school, for example if they have been expelled or are school refusing. SCP provides many supports. These supports depend on the individual's needs. Supports include clubs, such as homework or breakfast clubs, support for young people on a one-to-one -one basis, developing social skills, programs for transitions, such as transition from sixth class into first year, programs during school holidays, developing self-esteem and anger management programs. The Homeschool Community Liaison Coordinator can talk to you about whether or not school completion is the right fit for your child and how referrals to the school completion program are made. If you decide you would like to refer your child to the SCP program, the Homeschool Community Liaison Coordinator or the School Completion Program Coordinator will support you in completing the referral. Guidance counselling includes personal, social, educational and vocational counselling, or a combination of these. We in the Guidance and Counselling Department endeavour to meet the needs of all our students along a continuum from a whole school approach to group and individualised methods 
so that everyone can reach their full potential. Some of these methods include one-to-one -one counselling, vocational interviewing, mentoring, classroom-based guidance, psychometric testing, trips to college and university open days, in-school talks and information sessions on areas such as subject choice, going to college and apprenticeships. Referrals can be made to our support team by management, teachers, parents, youth workers and also on an individual basis. There are also other early intervention supports for children, young people and their families which can be accessed through school. Our youth workers can provide support and programmes designed for the purpose of aiding and enhancing the personal and social development of young people. Youth Worker aims to empower young people who might be struggling with school attendance, fostering their ability to enhance their personal skills and qualities, grow their confidence and overcome barriers. Consequently, these efforts result in heightened self-confidence, self-sufficiency, resilience and an increased capacity to hopefully fully re-engage in education. Tusla Donegal fund a number of youth work services across County Donegal that parents and teachers can refer young people age 8 and over to. Support is provided through community-based groups in Donegal and or through individual support work with young people in an appropriate community location. You can access youth work services locally in your community or for more information, please see Donegal Parent Hub website on parenthubdonegal.ie. MEHL is a model for agencies working with families to ensure that the needs of children and young people are identified, understood and responded to in a timely way. It's coordinated and led by TUSLA and used where the involvement of more than one agency is needed. It can be used by all practitioners in different agencies so that they can communicate and work together more effectively to meet the identified needs at the earliest opportunity. The model is based on working in partnership with children, young people and their families and parental consent is required. Parents can self-refer to the process by contacting their local Child and Family Network coordinator. These details are available on the TUSLA website. Referrals can also come through youth and family support services at community level and as a step down from child protection intervention. TUSLA Donegal fund a number of youth and family support services across the county. Family support is a style of work and a wide range of activities that strengthen positive and formal networks through community-based programmes and interventions. Details of available supports and services can be found on the Parent Hub Donegal website. There may be times when there is a need for a therapeutic response to issues around school avoidance and school refusal. Here are some of the services available. Jigsaw Donegal is a brief intervention service and offers a one-to-one -one support service for young people aged between 12 and 25. Jigsaw helps young people through their current hurdles, learning skills along the way that will help them overcome the next challenge that comes their way. Jigsaw is a free and confidential service that is built on really listening to you and your experience and working with you to make things better. Referral can be made via self-referral or another agency can make one on your behalf. HSE Psychology Service Psychologists in Donegal see adults and children who present with a wide variety of emotional, relationship and behavioural problems, stemming from many different causes. Typical examples of these type of problems that prompt people to come to see psychology include depression, anxiety, trauma, abuse and disability. As well as working in the psychology department, a number of psychologists are based in multidisciplinary teams such as mental health and early intervention disability teams. You can refer yourself or your child directly to the service either by letter or phone call. Equally, you can ask your GP or other health professional whom you attend to do so on your behalf. Their services are located in Bunkrana, Donegal Town, Dunlow and Letterkenny. CAMS The Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service is a specialist service for young people under 18 with moderate to severe mental health difficulties. A moderate to severe difficulty is something that has a significant impact on your daily life. It stops you from doing things you want to do and need to do. For example, seeing friends and going to school. CAMS treats moderate to severe mental health conditions and difficulties. These may include depression, anxiety, eating disorders and ADHD. 
you need a referral from your GP or another healthcare professional to access CAMS. They are located in Letterkenny, Donegal Town and in Ashoan. Now we are going to hear from some young people who have experienced school avoidance and school refusal and what made a difference for them. I was worried about going into school and the principal let me do Lego Club in the morning for 10 minutes which I really liked. My message to parents is trust your child, listen to them. I can't identify just one thing that helped me. It was all the people helping together that helped me. A big incentive for me to attend school was sport. The arrangement with school was that if I attended all week, I got to help coach other young people. Also the after school support I went to. The homework club kept me motivated to keep coming to school at a time when I could have easily given up. I think the hardest part about going into school was getting up in the morning and having that awful feeling in my stomach. I found once I was at school, it wasn't too bad, but most days my anxiety got the best of me and being so drained and never having all the work done made me a lot worse going in. What helped me stay in school, honestly, was having a youth worker in school and knowing I had support from staff when I went into school. Also, my friends helped me a lot. I found it hard to come to school because I didn't understand the work and people weren't being nice to me. It helped to come into school knowing that someone from school completion would be waiting for me at the school door and that throughout the day I had somewhere to go if I felt nervous. Meetings with adults in the room was the hardest part. I felt so guilty, especially because my mum was getting into a lot of trouble. The more days I missed, the harder it got to go in. Without SCP support and the help of my teachers, I would not have completed my junior cert. My principal organised for my ma to come to the gate 10 months before the other children arrived. We did this for two weeks to help me. I did some mindfulness with my youth worker to help me manage going into school as I was very anxious. Our key message from this initiative is one of hope. Things can change and support is available by contacting your child or young person's school.